worried that if urgent steps are not taken, Mr. Speaker, to preserve and develop the tourist site, Nigeria will lose value and profit that will have accrued from it and will continue to lose potential revenue from the tourists. The House therefore resolves to hold the Federal Ministry of Information, Culture, and the Nigerian Tourism Development Corporation to initiate steps and implement ideas in order to develop the site to a world-class tourist destination. Also hold the Federal Ministry of Power Also, how the Federal Minister of Power works housing to initiate steps towards tapping into the hydropower potentials of the waterfall. Mandate the committees of culture and tourism and power to ensure compliance. I saw with Mr. Speaker in the Rijesha, Oriade local government of Osho State. Mr. Speaker, it's of common knowledge across the globe. That Silence, please. Honorable Bichi, can you go back to your seat? Honorable Bichi, Garba Bichi, please resume your seat. The tourism in other climes is one of the major sources of revenue to um, government, and it forms one of the ingredients for public finance. Mr. Speaker, this particular waterfall is one of the best in this country. And Mr. Speaker, from the research and reports carried out by World Economic Forum, Nigeria has been ranked as the eighth least competitive country to visit. Mr. Speaker, I have statistical data as per the number of international tourist arrivals in Nigeria, which is put to be 1,255,000, international tourism, tourism inbound receipts, put at 403.9 million US dollars, average receiver arrival is put at $321. Mr. Speaker, when we compare this to other happenings, particularly in South Africa, where we have, from the research I've carried out, we have a minimum of 3.5 million tourists per year. Honorable Benilar, please, fact, can you resume your seat? Honorable Fred, created about 1. please. 5 million she is a married woman, if you don't jobs, know. Jobs, Mr. Speaker. Benny is a married woman, if you don't know. <laughs> Representing about 9.5% of total employment in the country. Mr. Speaker, the point I'm trying to make here is this. If Henry Jesha, if the federal government develops Henry Jesha to work class standard, that waterfall is estimated to have to receive about one million tourists. It will also generate employment, it will create employment. And Mr. Speaker, if the water falls, is also deployed to generate hydropower, it will also create a lot of industrial development. This will be accompanied by good roads, supply of electricity, regular water supply, availability of good houses, hotels, etc. Mr. Speaker, because of time, I wouldn't want to you know, belabor this house rather than to hold you and to further convey the message of the Akela of Erijesha and the entire people of Ijesha North that I should play with two of my colleagues to allow this motion to see the light of the day. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Thank you so much. There were two issues, Mr. Speaker. There is the tourism aspect of it, Mr. Speaker, and there is power generation aspect of it, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the motion 
the, the motion, the motion. Mr. Speaker, this motion, if you look at it, Mr. Speaker, it dealt with tourism and power generation aspect of faith. Mr. Speaker, I represent the Jesha North people. They sent me here to defend their interests. They do advert your mind to the provision of the Constitution. You can represent the interests of their... Can you speak to your mic, please? Your mic. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On the... The state may be the approval of the national... Sir, the national parks, being such areas in a state as may with the consent of the government of that state be designated by the National Assembly as national parks. Designation and development. Mr. Speaker, look at my, look, if you look at my motion very well, Mr. Speaker. The first prayer, Mr. Speaker, is to hold the Federal Minister of Information and Culture and the Nigerian Tourism Development Corporation to initiate steps and implement ideas to develop the site to a world-class tourist destination. That's the first, first leg of my prayer. Mr. Speaker, I also talked about, about the potentials of this waterfalls to generate 1,500 megawatts. We all know the problems this country is facing when it comes to power generation. We all know the problem this country is that I'm bringing to the limelight that, that this potential exists to develop the water waterfalls, particularly in the power sector. Particularly in the power sector, Mr. Speaker. Are we saying that power, power development, power generation is purely local government matter? Uh, Mr. Speaker, this is not the first time some that my colleagues are bringing such motions based on infrastructure development of their areas. So, Mr. Speaker, if you are looking, if you are saying that the tourism aspect of it is purely local government residual list, what about the potentials of this nation generating 1,000 megawatts? from this waterfall, Mr. Speaker. Then strike out the tourism park. But that's all, you have solved the problem. Based on the constitutional issue raised by my leader, I mean, raised by the leader of the APC in the House, Mr. Speaker, may I move that the, the tourism aspect of this prayer be deleted? I so move, Mr. Speaker. Any second? Moved by Honorable Olu Oleoke. I so second. Thank you. Those in favor of the motion say aye. Those against it say nay. I reserve it. Those in favor of the motion as amended say aye. Those against it say nay. I reserve it.